Welcome to Matthew Rayfield World, the show on the internet, television, YouTube. And uh, today, I have for you, uh, you know, I said that I was going to make a game with emojis in the URL bar, and then I didn't do it. But now, today, I have. But first, some people, some people, oh, that's wrong. Some people, some people beat me to it. This guy here, Andrew Healy, he made Sudoku in the URL bar. Wow, look at that. Very nice. He's got the little boop, 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 and he's got the numbers. I really would have never thought to do Sudoku in the URL bar. That's kind of unusual, but I like it. I think his thing was like, oh, you can, you can secret play it. I like that. Good job. Good job, Andrew. Good, Andrew. And then, and then uh, Neil. Neil here. Neil Agarwal. He made a zombie game. This did really well on, on, on the Twitter. This got like 2,000 likes on Twitter. That's like 2,000 more likes than everything I've ever done got. <laughs> uh, more or less. But uh, good job, Neil. This is good. I like this one. This was a zombie. little zombie. Boop, boop, boop. And uh, Neil makes cool stuff. So shout out, shout out to Neil. Good Neil. And also this guy here, Jake. Jake Alba, Al, Alba, Jake Alba. He made this is not a game, but I like this one. This um, this I saw before the zombie thing, um, but this this is like a little graphical visualizer of, of audio in the URL bar, and uh, this was nice. I like this. This also did did well on the Twitter, and he he tweeted out the uh, the source code. That was kind of cool, and uh, I wish I had done this. I wish I had thought to do this on my original video. Because I like this one a lot. Two thumbs up, Jake. Good Jake. And then also, someone pointed out in some comment uh, somewhere that this person here, Epidemian, Demian Ferrero from the Buenos Aires, he, um, three years ago, he made Snake. I'm going to play this one. He made Snake in the URL bar with the little Braille characters. Um, which is something that I thought about doing, but I don't need to do it now, because, uh, because, uh, Damien, Damien Ferrero did it, and it's good, it's a good job, I'm gonna stop playing Snake, I like this little after you die thing that pops up too, that's pretty dope, so, they beat me to it, but I wasn't ready to call it quits yet, even though it took me a while to actually get around to doing it. But I, I wanted to do it. I wanted to make a game in the URL bar with emojis, quite possibly. But I had to do it different. I had to come up with something new. Some new shiny object to splice into the emoji game situation. Um, and I, I came up with it, I think. I think. So if you remember, we had waves. I'd created waves before in horizontal horizontal waves in the URL bar. I mean, these are kind of, they go vertical too. But anyway, basically my point is, you only had control over the horizontal area. And for making a game, that's that's not really a lot of movement. I mean, one dimension of scoopy to boop that's like, that's not enough. So I thought, how can we fix this? And I came up with the idea of, what do we need? We just need pop-ups. Look at that. Look at these pop-ups. Now I got pop-up URL bar waves vertically. This opens up, this opened up to me a whole new realm of possibilities when it comes to the wiggle and the waggle. I mean, now we've got two dimensions to play with for our games. Okay, so look at that. Wow. I feel like I never explained things right. So the pop-ups open up like seven pop-ups. Then I position them so that the URL bars, it is obvious just by looking at it, but I felt like I need to explain. I position them so they overlap and that you just see the URL bars. And then I have a code that manipulates the URL bars for each pop-up. So with that said, I decided, you know, there's a problem with it though. The problem is that you can't get the URL bars smack dab right up against each other because you've got that title bar. And even though they're close, it still doesn't lend itself maybe to like... Uh, I don't know, Mario, right? I mean, Mario's not, if he jumps, he's going to jump, boop, like too high. So I thought, what if it was a game with platforms? 
And then I thought of Donkey Kong. The arcade game, Donkey Kong. And here it is. Donkey Kong. With emojis. You run around. And and uh, I, I using the walking person emoji and the running person emoji to like do a little walking running animation. And I got a hammer, j just like the original arcade game. This is very similar to the original arcade game. Almost can't even, can't even see the difference. <laughs> uh, but these red things are barrels. Ooh, ooh. And I died. Uh, that was that was legit death. I didn't mean to do it on purpose. But uh, we've got the gorilla or uh, the Donkey Kong. Uh, I guess it's Donkey Kong. Is it called Donkey Kong in that one? Or Kong? I don't know. Not a historian. But uh, either the little the gorilla gorilla man like goes and gets the gets the barrel and drops it, and you can dodge these barrels. I'm gonna get to the top of this level. No, no. Okay, I'm not. I'm not waste time. But anyways, that's that's Donkey Kong. And you can, uh, the little thing, your object of desire up at the top is randomized. Sometimes it's a burger, sometimes it's a little dancing, uh, lady, and sometimes it's a little dancing man. So, you know, got variety here. Not like the, not like the original, where it's just some Pauline, which I think is a very strange name for her. But, anyways, I always thought it was Princess Peach, it's not. So, while I was making Donkey Kong, I got a little bored, and, um, I made... I made a breakout. I tried originally to make like Tetris, but pretty quickly I realized that because of the aforementioned uh, title bar situation, that the blocks just don't look good <laughs> at all. Like I made like a little just visual block dropping thing, and they just don't they don't match up, and it's just very confusing. But breakout, I think breakout works pretty well, and I'm gonna clear this level. And you can enjoy the crispy sound effects that I designed in in uh, that uh, famous online. Oh no! In that uh, oh, online sound generator, Biffixer or whatever it's called. Come on, just get this hundred, and then we're on. Yes, yes. Okay, that's breakout. So hey, that's pretty good. I think that's 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 about the the peak of playability you're gonna see in this video. But I've got more got more to show you. So, I got to thinking. I have in the past used emojis um, to like render an image in several different ways. And essentially what you do is you, you sort the emojis by color, right? So here is, here is that kind of those kind of sorted emojis um, in three dimensions, right? It's a three dimensional array of emojis for red, green, and blue. And I've also limited the color. So it's like 16 by 16 by 16. And it's just just wrote like a script that goes through and averages the color of the, the emoji together. And so with this, you can then take any image you want and com convert the pixels. You can like you have to really reduce the uh, scale it down, and then take each pixel, find the the emoji that's that the closest emoji color, the closest emoji to that color, and then you can show whatever image you want in theory. So the problem is, well, we'll get to the problem. But but so then I can take that emoji, I can spit it out to the the pop up, and I can show whatever image I want. Okay. So so with that, I made a webcam. Okay. Here it is. Here's the webcam. Right. You can you can totally see my hand, right? My hand like moving across the screen and the emojis. You can totally tell what's going on, right? You can totally see my face, right? Me moving back and forth. Uh, yeah, me, me neither. I mean, I can see something, right? I mean, something's going on there. I can see like a faint variation in the emojis, but it's it's basically impossible to tell what the heck's going on. And um, for that reason, the webcam was kind of a failure. But it did. It it was proof of concept as far as all right got these emojis sorted by color let's do something with them so I thought all right the problem with the webcam is you need too much of a resolution to really get anything done a and then B uh, too many colors I mean the, the colors you just can't read what's going on so if we reduce what we need for resolution and we reduce the color add more kind of contrast maybe we can display something so I thought all right do a cube 3d spinning cube 
3D graphics in your URL bars of your pop-ups. Can you see what's going on? Can you tell that's a cube? I can. If I squint and I kind of look back, yep, that's a 3D cube spinning. Um, but it's not very clear, I'll admit. Um, this is what the like render is showing there. Um, but uh, I think you have to take it for for what uh, for what's going on here. I mean, wow! Think about the fact of what you're looking at here again. I mean, this is these are URL bars of pop-ups showing a 3D spinning cube and emojis. 3D graphics. How far we have come. Truly remarkable. So with that. I thought of one last thing to do. Got to be interactive, right? Can't just be a spinning cube. That's no fun, right? So here it is. This is it. This is fully 3D interactive environment. You can walk around. You can you can look over here. You can look at this big blue wall. Come back over here. Can you even tell what's going on? Can you even see what I'm doing? I'm going to turn on the little cheater for you. Okay, this is what's actually, this is in pixels, not in emojis. Right down here is in pixels. Now can you tell what's going on? This is a fully 3D room. Okay, different colored walls. I don't know why I'm squinting, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but uh, if you walk over here, uh, you can walk over here. You can see, I put something over here, and that is an emoji. Okay, there's an emoji over here in three-dimensional space, and we rendered it up here in emojis, and it doesn't look, it's not legible at all. No, it's not, but but it's something. I mean, you can, you can see that there's an object there, so you approach it, right, I and mean, you can tell, like, oh, I'm getting close to something, kind of, maybe. I don't know, but I, I, I like it. Hey, I like it. I like what's going on here. This is really, I think, the height. I mean, we can all agree, right? This is the height of emojis in URL bars rendering graphics, right? I mean, the height is not very high, <laughs> but it's there. It's high. It's higher than we were before, and um, and that's good. That's a good thing. So, to the person, I think it was a top comment on the emoji video, said so they wanted Doom in the URL bar. Well, this isn't Doom, but it's pretty close, kind of. It's closer than we were before. Okay, that's all I have to show you as far as that goes. But uh, one, one caveat, actually, I'm going to put footage here somewhere, is that on Windows, the emojis are not fixed width, and so most of these things look like, uh, look like poop. They don't look good. They don't, they work. I mean, you can play Donkey Kong, but it's like the lines don't really work. Like the little emojis I use to fill the spaces between things are smaller than the other things. And they just, just doesn't work. And the 3D stuff doesn't work at all. Like every line is a different width and they're constantly moving. <sighs> Windows, I don't know what you're thinking. That was, that's no bueno to me. Hurts, hurts my use case for emojis. But uh, you're not using Windows anyways, right? Right? I mean, no one uses Windows, right? It's not like 90% of the people in the world use Windows or anything, right? So it's not a big problem. But uh, okay, that's it. Uh, except I forgot to mention that in the description, I'll have a link to the source code and also a link where you can, like, uh, you know, play the game. But wait, I'm not gone yet. We have the very first viewer voicemail. Matthew Rayfield World viewer voicemail right now we're gonna listen to it here we go this comes from from toronto that's the 647 area code okay here we go let's listen let's have a little, a little hey listen. matthew i just want to ask you about have you ever been to a mr sub um my favorite thing about mr sub is the length and the girth of the cheese that you receive at mr sub's world headquarters I feel like that would be a good thing to put in the Matthew Rayfield's World Headquarters cafeteria so that all who need long cheese can enjoy it. Yeah.
I think. Yeah. All right. Great. Mr. Sub. Mr. Sub. I had to look up Mr. Sub because here in Florida, we don't have a Mr. Sub. But I have looked them up. And thank you for calling, by the way, unnamed 647 uh, area code person. Um, Mr. Sub is seems to be a Canada, 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 Canada based um, establishment that has various sandwiches. Some of these look good. Some of these um, look tasty. I, I, my mouth is watering here at this Southwest Thai chicken wrap. I like the look of that. The, the caller specifically mentioned cheese, though. I thought long cheese was maybe some kind of sandwich, some kind of different thing. I, I was excited to hear and look for a long cheese. They do have a steak and cheese. Maybe that's what they mean. But I couldn't find any long, especially long cheese. Um, or girthy. The, the, the caller also mentioned girthy cheese, which I'm very fascinated to see. However, looking through these, let's look at let's look at the toppings here. Um, mm, I'm hungry. This is making me hungry. Um, cheeses. Okay, we got cheeses. White cheese, matzah cheddar blend. That's interesting. Parmesan cheese, feta cheese. I like feta cheese and cheddar cheese. Nothing. None of those seem especially long to me. They do have a large. Every has a cheese has a large, which is interesting to me because I never think of cheese as being small or large um, that you put on a sandwich. kind of think that's a one-size-fits-all type thing. But um, very fascinating. Mr. Sub, never heard of them. And we will definitely look into that. Uh, maybe they can, yeah, maybe they can open up a location in our cafeteria. I think that would be great because we, we're doing um, some cafeteria renovation here. And uh, that'd be great. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of the uh, the subway that we currently have installed. Uh, or is it a Blimpies? I think it's a Blimpies. Gosh, I don't even know. I don't I don't go to the cafeteria very often. I think it's a Blimpies subs, and we're gonna get that out of there. And I'm gonna call Mr. Sub, and we're gonna get some some long cheese. Thank you, caller. You've really helped me out. And if you wanna give us a call, you can call right here. A one three. I have to read in reverse now. 531-7442. A13, putting it right here. A13-531-7442. Leave a voicemail and I'll maybe I'll put you on on the next on the next episode. Okay. Great. I think we've had about as much fun here as we can in one sitting. So, um if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos from Matthew Rayfield World, do do the following things. You just you hit like, you hit subscribe, and hit the bell. You can go also go on Twitter on the Twitter, and you can follow Matthew Rayfield. And with that, hey, I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.